Hi my charmers and charmettes. I know it's been a while, um, but I'm gonna do like a fall look. Uh, well, not necessarily like a fall, fall look, but um, I wanted to do a Halloween look. Um, something just cute and simple, like a little Halloween look, just to, you know, get in the mood because I love Halloween. Everybody knows I love Halloween. So this video is gonna be a little different. It's not really gonna be a tutorial. Mainly, I wanted to talk today to my subscribers <clears throat> or anyone out there, even if you're not sus subscribed, but you need to subscribe because guess what? You missing out just speak to you about, you know, self-confidence and also, you know, October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month and I am, um, I don't like to use the word victim at all. I am an overcomer <laughs> of a uh, domestic violence uh, in a relationship that I was in for like two and a half years. In my situation, it really wasn't primarily physical. It was more mental and emotional. Uh, so I have a cocktail. Hope you guys have a cocktail with me. Before you play this video, definitely make you a cocktail. Let's get into it. I didn't know or realize that I was in that type of relationship at all. Um, it came as a surprise. I really love this person. I love this person probably more than I've ever loved anybody ever. And um I and I know that I did because I put up with a lot of stuff that I I normally don't put up with in a relationship. But I really don't want to talk about that relationship. It you know, it's over and done with. I you know, want to give give someone some advice um who's either dealing with that situation or someone who is in a relationship and they want you know you want to get out i feel like you know sometimes we lose sight of that you get so caught up and deep in love with someone you you start forgetting about yourself you start you stop caring about you know yourself and what you need and you know out of the relationship you start becoming and this is this is primarily my case but um you start becoming a giver and you lose out on the receiving end. Mom always taught me that, you know, you treat others how you want to be treated. Always, always important that you are respecting each other. If you find yourself in a story or a relationship or anything and you're not happy, just leave. You don't always have to stay in something that, that's continuously making you unhappy. Protect your peace. That's what's, that's what's important. So if you find yourself in a relationship or you find yourself in a friendship or um, at a job or anything and you are not happy, it sounds very far-fetched, but just leave. I can't continuously live my life unhappy because you're gonna complain. You're gonna continuously complain. Leave, leave him alone, leave her alone, leave that family member alone or whatever because you are in control of your life and your destiny. And sometimes the situation that you're in affects others around you. But to me, those, um, you know, men that are abusive, those narcissists, to me, they know how to get into your head, to get in your mind and make you feel a certain type of way. What they do is they tear you down to rebuild you back up the way that they want you to. So that's why it's important to always have your own self-confidence. I love myself. I wouldn't allow somebody to disrespect me. I wouldn't allow someone to come into my space, into my peace, into my bubble and take that away from me, you know? In that relationship, something, I was, just, I was completely fed up. I was attacked in a very, very violent way. And I thought to myself, God gave me another chance of my life. Refine myself. I, there's times I looked in the mirror and I would just cry like, who are you? Where did you go? You were this person. You were alive. You were vibrant. You were, you know, you didn't let anybody or anything come in your life and tear you apart and tear you down and then you allow this person to come into your life and break you completely down and rebuild you into something that you're not 
So I, it took a long, and I'm not gonna lie, it took a very, very, very long time for me to move forward and try to find myself and even try to find trust. There are some people who don't wanna be alone, that you, you just can't be alone. Like you just feel like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna die <laughs> because I am alone. But what you have to understand and realize is None of that matters. You are not alone. You're never alone. You have friends. You have family members who love you. You do have some people that love you, that care about you, and they want to see you, you know, prosper. They want to see you win. They see sometimes people see more potential in you than you see in yourself. I have seen more in my friends. I've seen more in family members that I'm like, you don't see what I see? Girl, do you don't see what I see? You are it. You are the bomb, okay? No matter what color, what creed, what shape you are, you are someone special. Don't know. Sometimes we try to hold on to things that God is trying to tear, tear us apart from. When something that you're consistently trying to work it and work it and it's it's not working yet first you don't succeed dust yourself off and try again of course but sometimes you have to sit back regroup and focus because maybe god don't want you god don't want that for you he's like no this is not it this is not what i see for my child i'm a firm believer in what god has for me it is for me <laughs> and it will be for me make sure that you are covering yourself respecting yourself respecting your peace but we can change the narrative you can always change the narrative you can always say no no more you can you can step away you can walk away you can always walk away <clears throat> because Life is is literally too short. I feel like people that are in my life now that all serve a purpose and not something of, that I can gain monetarily, but something that I gain emotionally and spiritually. So I feel like, you know, everyone in my life is there for a reason. I do have friends that have been in the domestic violent relationships. I feel like God put those people in my life for a testimony, for me to give my testimony to them and say, hey, this is what happened. I overcame it. I got out of it. And you can too. And I feel like, and I hope that those friends that have been in that situation after me and, you know, that I've spoken to and, you know, I've told them my story and, you know, me believing in them, I hope that that helped them to regain their confidence. It doesn't happen overnight. It doesn't, it probably took me like over a year and it does. It takes you a long time because you, they get so deep and rooted into your brain that you literally don't know who you are. Hey, I forgive that person. Um, I don't hate them no more. I, I hated that person a lot. But I thank God that I was able to overcome my situation. And anybody else that's in, you know, a domestic violence relationship, or if you're in a relationship that you are just not happy, this is me telling you, walk away. You don't need it. You're good. <laughs> you know, you don't need it. You don't need it. You are fine. You are okay. Because... Whatever's out there that's meant for you, it's gonna find you. It's all about, you know, manifestation and speaking, you know, good things, speaking, you know, success, prosperity, all of that over your life. Whoever you are, wherever you are, this is me speaking to you. And honey, you gonna be okay. <laughs> you are going to be okay because we know what we deserve in our life. And another thing, if you have kids or you have anybody in your life, they don't want to see you go through that. I hated seeing my friends go through things that, you know, they went through. And I just, ugh, I wish that 
I could just take it away. I wish I could take it away. But if you know that situation is not good for you, if you know that all it's gonna do is consistently bring you drama, if someone always has drama in their life, that's not for you to fix. Someone else's problem sometimes isn't yours to fix. And that's it, that's all. And it's okay to help people. I'm not saying don't help anyone, cause it is, it's okay to help someone. But sometimes you have to lean on yourself. You have to guide yourself. You can't, you can't help anyone else if you don't have yourself together, if you don't have yourself fixed. And I'm talking to, I'm preaching to y'all, I'm preaching to myself. I tell myself this all the time. You can't rescue that person. You can't help that person. You can't help yourself right now. How are you gonna help them? But it is important to always do the best that you can and try, of course, to be there um, for your friends, your family, or even a stranger. It's fine. But at the same time, if you're going to overexert yourself, if it's going to bring you too much pain, too much drama, walk away. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, it's not worth it. But I do have... Um, a good amount of friends who now we share a story together and I just hope that they see the confidence in me um and know that I'm happy so I'm building myself I'm building myself up to the person that I need to be so that the person in my mind that I want to be with the person in my mind I want to spend the rest of my life with I'm gonna be prepared for them because I'm working on me and I'm working on myself. So the person I wanna be with, they're not gonna want me in a bad head space where I can't trust them, where I'm consistently thinking that, oh, he's being too controlling. Oh, he's doing this. Oh, he's doing that. Nobody wants to be with anybody like that. When I'm in a relationship, I wanna be comfortable. I don't have to worry. I don't wanna have any questions in the back of my mind i just want to go with the flow and i feel like that's what you're supposed to do when you get out of a relationship you're supposed to work on yourself look take accountability maybe the relationship didn't work out because of that person but what could you have done differently as well in the relationship sometimes it's not just one person sometimes it is something that we do um that warrants a behavior from you know the opposite so that's why it's always important when you break up with someone you work on yourself because all you're gonna do if you don't stop take a break and work on yourself all you're gonna do is bring all the extra baggage into your new relationship and nobody wants that so all i'm saying to you guys is love yourself have self-respect for yourself. Don't just be hopping on anything and everything just because it sounds good or you lonely. You have friends, you have family. If you feel like the people in your life don't get you, they don't understand you, find some people that do, <laughs> okay? Find some people that do. Be happy. Know your self-worth. And you don't have to put up with any and everything. This is looking real cute. I may just have to insert like a clip of how it looks. Um, like a picture of how it looks. Because I really wanted to talk and get a message out there. Cause this is giving me real like candy corn vibes. Always pursue your dreams first. Always put yourself first. I used to think that that was selfish to just put yourself first, but I get it now. I understand if you are not good if you are not okay you will literally be worthless to anybody else you really would you would be worthless and that may sound harsh but i'm not 
here to sugarcoat anything. Stop envying all these celebrities and everything because a lot of them, quiet as it's kept, a lot of them are not happy. They are not happy. It's nice to have nice things, but at the end of the day, if you a crappy person, a horrible person, and I mean a horrible person, a lot of those people are horrible people. They are selfless, okay? <laughs> so, so that's why I'm telling everybody, like work on yourself, be good to yourself, treat yourself, take yourself out. Well, not right now, Corona, but, <laughs> But, you know, do something nice for yourself. Feel, you know, feel that confidence that you need. You can't be a good friend to anyone if you're not a good friend to yourself. And my mom used to tell me all the time, she used to drop gems, okay? Gems. But my mom used to say, because I used to get bullied um, in a little bit of elementary, but middle school, I wanted to die, okay? I used to get bullied really bad. But my mom and I, I never really had any friends. And my mom said, you know what, Charity? In order to have friends, you have to first show yourself friendly. I feel like it's all, it's, it takes nothing to be a good person. It takes literally more energy to be a bad person than a good person. It does, like... It takes too much effort to be petty. It takes too much effort to be shady. Just, just be nice. Or keep it moving. Like that's, that's how I feel. Be nice or keep it moving. This video is getting pretty length, lengthy, but I don't care. I hope y'all still with me. I'ma just finish this up real quick and I'll be back okay 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 I'm back um I haven't put any mascara eyelashes on yet <clears throat> because honestly I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna refilm another video um for you guys um because Kaylee is with her cousins tonight and I have free time so yes but I like it it's cute let me know if you like it I think it's really cute turned out pretty cute <clears throat> but anyways a little sippy sip but the moral of this whole talk is <clears throat> it's always always important to one put yourself first two don't let anybody control your life or what you do you are in control of your life nobody else if you're with someone or you have um friends because i've been that friend like girl don't text him girl don't call him no aunt don't do that but you know people are gonna do what they want to do at the end of the day <laughs> um <clears throat> So, you know, it is what it is. But me, I genuinely, as a friend, as a, you know, a family member, a sister, um, an aunt, a cousin, a mom, whatever. I just want the best for everybody. No, no I love, I love everybody. I love animals. Um, I hate bugs. Let me be honest. <laughs> I love each and every one of you guys and I just want to see everybody win come up do what you know do what you want to do in life pursue your dreams pursue your I mean you know accomplish your goals and <clears throat> and be successful because it's it's hard enough out here as it is so you might as well have a circle, a group, a community um, of support and people in your life that's going to push you to your best abilities. Um, 
because I do it. I do it all the time. I do it with my friends. I do it with my daughter. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I wish she knew how to do this or do that. And I try to push her sometimes, even though <clears throat> she isn't there yet. But she is advanced for a little one-year-old. <laughs> like, she's super advanced, and I'm proud of her. And I'm proud of my friends. I'm proud of my family. Um, it like my nieces and nephews. I'm so, 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 so proud of them. Like my little nephew, he's going to be like a all around all star Kyler, Kyler. He's going to be an all around all star and I'm just proud of them. And I just, me, I hope I make my friends proud. I hope my, I make my family proud. So that's why I have stepped back especially on relationships and try to really work on myself and <clears throat> pursue my goals because that's what's important and making sure that I build a better relationship with my faith um, because who wouldn't want to go to heaven? I'm going to heaven. I'm having a mansion. A couple people are going to be next to me on the side. Hey, girl, what's up? It's time to go sing for the for the Lord. You know, I want that. I want I'm who wants to burn for eternity. But some people don't believe in that. And that's fine. And that like Tab Tabitha Brown say, baby, that's your business. And it is your business. But <clears throat> it wouldn't hurt to have something to believe in. Like it it definitely wouldn't. That's what helps me fulfill my purpose is my faith and my faith in God. And I've seen miracles um, that couldn't happen and not from luck or wishing upon a star <laughs> or anything like that. It's just, it's what my father in heaven wants for me. Um, but I hope that this chit chat worked. Um, I hope it got through to, you know, some people um and pff, tell me what you think about this look you like this little candy corn look but um comment below tell me if you like the little chit chats uh i am gonna do a story time um but that's it that's all and i will see you guys in the next video because there is more videos to come i apologize for the delay but they are coming and <laughs> always my traumas and traumas be good to yourself because nobody else will peace